everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you everything that I've been loving through the month of August. I cannot believe it's September already, like it's crazy. So I'm going to show you everything that I've been liking through that month and I hope you'll like it. So I'm going to start with everything beauty related because I seem to have a lot of those things. So the first random thing are these oval cosmetic pads which are just like makeup removing pads and they're from pennies or Primark whatever you want to call it and they're for one euro these are the standard ones and then these are the big ones as you can see they're a bit bigger and I just really love using them because when I'm taking off my makeup I only need one of these and if I was using the small ones I need like four of them or something so it's a lot more budget friendly I guess and yeah, you, it's just a lot easier and there's 50 of them in here. This is a new packet actually because I'm running out of these in my drawer. But yeah, I really really like these and I would really recommend these if you're still using the like the small ones. I would recommend you try these out because they're so much better. The next thing I have here are like two fragrance kind of perfumes that I've been using a lot through the month of August. And the first one is the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess perfume. I mentioned this in my haul video. It's just the best perfume I ever smelt. It smells like summer. I'm really sad that I'm going, I'm not sure, should I wear this like during Christmas? I don't think I should. So I'm going to have to stop using this until like next year, which is so sad because I love it so much. Well, I guess I could wear it, but no, I wanna get into those cozy color months. But anyway, I really love this. If you're a fan of sweet things, coconut kind of, and cocoa butter scents, then you're definitely going to like this and you should definitely pick it up this year. Maybe it's still out or maybe next year because it's just amazing. The second fragrance kind of thing I have been using is this Victoria's Secret Pink Hot Crush Body Mist. It says, it's, uh, it, says it has jasmine and warm caramel in it and it just smells really nice. It smells really warm and sweet, just the same as that other perfume that I just mentioned. And throughout August, when I wasn't using the Estee Lauder perfume, I was using this and just spraying it all over myself. As you can see, like, I used this so many times and it's still on top, so I don't know if I'm ever gonna run out of this, which is a good thing, I guess. The next thing I have is a hand cream that I was sent recently actually to try out and this is what it looks like. It's from, I can't say that brand name, I'm so bad. It's like Jurlique, Jurlique, I, I don't know. You know the brand yourself probably and this is what it looks like. It's like a limited edition 2016 hand cream. I love the cap. I did a whole blog post about these and a couple of other things that I got sent from this brand. I'm gonna link it down below if you wanna check it out but it's a really nice hand cream. I've been using it ever since. It smells like roses, which is something that I don't usually go for, but I feel like this is the kind of rose that I like. So it's definitely something worth picking up if you're looking out for a new hand cream. And yeah, I really, really like this. The next thing is something for my hair, and this is the L'Oreal L5 Extra Ordinary Oil, and it's like an oil and cream. Rich Nourishing Leave-In Cream. So it's for dry and rough hair. So this is what it looks like. I've heard so many good things about these and I had to try it out for myself. It smells really nice. It makes my, like I usually put it at the ends of my hair um, just before I dry it. So yeah, it leaves my hair really nice and soft and shiny and I really really like it. I think it has been making all the difference in my hair care routine. I believe there's other like um, types of these for like different hair types so you should check it out as well if you're out for something new for your hair. The next little tiny beauty kind of accessory tool I want to say for makeup is this eyebrow kind of brush from Penny's and it's angled on one side like this as you can see and then the other side is a spoolie and this is the best thing ever. It's only 150, I believe. And I think I need to pick up another one in case I lose this one for some reason. It's just my favorite thing ever. Like you just brush your thing, brows, and then you have the pencil straight away because I use eyeshadow for my brows. And I would definitely recommend it if you're looking out for a new eyebrow kind of 
what's it called, brush. Yeah, it's just really, really handy. The next makeup item that I have been using recently and for a couple of months, I kind of got back into using it because I used to use it before when it was kind of all the hype was about it but then I stopped using it because I found a new product that replaced it and now I kind of got back into it in the month of August and this is the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm and you've heard of it, it like a lot of times probably I use it as a primer and it's great it just it's really sticky so the foundation and all the product on top sticks to it and stays on for a really long time which is great and yeah, I used this before and then I kind of stopped using it because I used the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Block Primer that you have seen me talk about a lot of times. And then I kind of got back into this, so now I'm using this again and I really, really like it. On to eyeshadows. I have two eyeshadow kind of favourites this month. And the first one is this Sleek Makeup. I mentioned this in my last video. I have been using this for like a month now and it's something that I use every single day because it's really fast. And I have all the shades that I need that I usually go for and it's just this palette in all night long it just has really gorgeous shades and they're really pigmented and I would definitely recommend sleek eyeshadows and sleek products because they're very affordable but like their eyeshadows are so pigmented you can compare these with like Urban Decay eyeshadows and really so nice so I was using this all throughout the month. The other eyeshadow favorite that I've been using is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Doe. So like the French number two, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, I never did French, I don't know. But anyway, it's this one and it's just like a nude brown kind of shade, you can see it there. And I really, really need to pick up more of these shadows because this is the one in the satin finish and it's so creamy. It's just so much different than all the other eyeshadows that I got. And yeah, I really, really love this one and I was using this a lot like in my crease. Even just this by itself, it just made all the difference to my makeup. So I really, really love this. The next beauty thing is this contour chubby stick from Beauty UK. I mentioned these in my haul as well and I've been using this every single day, this is what it looks like. It's just a chubby stick and that's the colour of it there. Blends really nicely and yeah, I love it. And then the last kind of section in all my beauty favourites are lip products. So the first one I have here is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. That's what I'm wearing right now actually and it's just really really nice. I need to pick up so many more shades of these because they're amazing. Super handy to just throw in your bag and apply anywhere you are because at least this shade is super easy to apply. You don't need a mirroring thing. And yeah, they're really creamy. They dry matte and stay on for a really long time. And yeah, love it. The next one is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Teeny Tiny. It's just like a pinky kind of nude and it just looks amazing on the lips and again stays on for a really long time it doesn't smudge when you eat or drink or anything like that so it's really really good the second last one is a MAC lipstick in the shade Twig I got this recently as well and I've been using it a lot of the time it's something different to what I usually wear because it's a little bit more pink and I don't usually wear pink this is it there that's the contour but that's the lipstick it's a little bit more pink to what I usually wear but I really like it and it was something different for me for the summer and I'm going to be wearing this until summer ends because it's a really really nice shade and the last lip product that I have to show you is another Colourpop product and this is the lippy stick in pillow talk it's the new formula it's like the matte X formula and again these are so smooth and stay on for a really really long time I'm gonna swatch it here. That's Pillow Talk and that's MAC lipstick. It's just such a nice shade and I use this a lot of the time since I got it. And yeah, it's one of my favorites. So going on to fashion favorites, the first thing I have here are some sunglasses and they're from Beach Club Boutique. If you follow me on Snapchat, yeah, then you might have seen that I got some new sunglasses from the brand. And I mentioned these bad boys. They're like mirrored, so you're gonna be able to see like everything that's happening. So I'm turning them to the side. But 
they are like gold and rose gold and then the actual glass in them is rose gold and kind of pink and I just love them so much that's what they look like you can see everything I'm blinding you with my lights I'm sorry <laughs> but yeah I just really really like them and they have like see can you see like they have like detailing here kind of and they've just have been my favorite sunglasses and I've worn them ever since I got them so I really really like them and I'm going to leave a link to them down below because so many of you were asking me where I got these another fashion kind of item that I have been wearing are bodysuits this one for example is from Bershka and it just it's just a bodysuit but it's stripey of course because if you know me stripes are the best thing ever and yeah I just really really like it and I've been wearing it with jeans it's just super easy to pair these with anything and yeah they're just such a handy thing to have so I have so many of these right now and I love them and the last thing that I've been loving through the month of August fashion related are the Adidas superstars I have been wearing them so much it's crazy so yeah I just really love these shoes and they just go with everything and it's something different to my Converse because I usually wear my Converse so yeah I really really like these so I really hope you enjoyed today's video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you're new leave me a comment letting me know what you have been loving through the month of August because I would love to know and I will see you all next week with a new video bye